The surge. Smallsy surgery. The surgery. This is Smallsy surgery. Hey, this is Tate McRae. You're listening to Smallsy on Nova. Hey everybody, on the show tonight, she's middle of her Aussie tour in Australia for the first time. Hello, Tate McRae. Hello, how's it going? It's very good to see you again. How's the tour going so far? It's been incredible. I love Australia so you, much. Have you enjoyed, have you done, I saw you met a koala. Uh, that I was, did, I yes. went to the zoo. Yeah, was that fun? <laughs> was fun? Did you enjoy that? We had to do at least one like Australian thing. We had to see kangaroos and koalas. Lo- lovely. Um, I know we saw each other a couple of weeks ago in London. You have literally been like non-stop since then. I don't think you've had really a day off, right? Yeah, I was like lucky because my first over my birthday, which was like July first that weekend, mm-hmm. I had like a week a week off. That was, that was like one of my first weeks off in the whole year. So did you it was tra- kind of nice. Did you treat stop. yourself? How did you celebrate nine turn and nineteen? Um, honestly, I was just with my family and like super close friends, and we went to the lake house, um, you know, by by my by in Calgary, Canada, oh, nice. and we just like had a really fun day on the boat. It was fun. Oh, beautiful! Do they still, yeah, do they do this, does your family treat like obviously like you're super famous pop star? Does your family treat you like a super famous pop star, or do they just go, you are still tater tot, and none of that shit's gonna fly with us? You will be doing the wa- <laughs> you will be doing the washing you will be cleaning up oh. and and that is you whatever happens on tour does not happen here i am mega humbled when i get home it is very it is very much uh uh take you suck yeah. <laughs> they're, they're very like, much they're like, when they're, like home. they're like i don't know if you have a sister or a brother but they can sing too let them sing <laughs> we don't want to hear you sing anymore we hear it enough literally that's what happens <laughs> oh no well hey it's good to see that it's good to hear they're keeping you humbled um, the tour, the tour uh, has been. Uh, I would imagine you uh, could never have been happier with how well you've been received on the other side of the world, having never been here and re- really, like, only had music out since everyone's been like locked down and haven't been able to travel. Yeah, and uh, I honestly, it's pretty wild to just like you know, even with the time change and everything, you just like realize that we're on the other side of the world and that mm. everyone, you know, that I have a whole bunch of fans here. I think it's like not even processing in my brain until until I see all of them at the shows, like waiting in line for, like the other day a fan came to my meet and greet and she said, I've been waiting in line for 24 hours. I camped out in front of your theater. And I was like, what? Like just the fact that these fans are just like at the level they are, it's it's really wild and I'm very grateful for them. Oh, that's lovely. Um, you know what I, I, what I find interesting? Cause like obviously when I saw you in London, I was traveling for work. And, and but you travel like honestly traveling is like a full-time job for you how do you yeah. how do you live out of a suitcase how do you do it because like by the time when I got home I was just like I need to wash my shit I need to sleep in my <laughs> own bed I I, I I need to be wearing more than just the same seven outfits cycled <laughs> cycled through a different way how do you how do you do it honestly I have the greatest mom in the world and she is like a pro packer. Okay. So she packs every single one of my outfits in Ziploc bags. So she's with like a, with like a, with like a vacuum seal, like sucks all the air out of it so you can like, jam it like, all in. Like full z- Ziploc bags. So I just have like, literally have to open up the bag and put my outfits. Um, and it's like, it's a little like, I'm like, I don't, I don't know how she does it. And I don't know, I'm very lucky. Um, but yeah, it's like, honestly makes traveling like way easier because I don't have to, I'm just like the messiest person ever. It definitely keeps me a little organized. <laughs> and is and is the rule once you wear it, it has to go back into the Ziploc bag and then it gets taken oh, to yeah. laundry, yeah? Oh yeah, it's very specific. <laughs> and if you don't follow the rules, there will be hell to pay because mum yeah, is in charge. Yeah, big punishment. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay, no, well, at least you can. How do you find, this is another weird question, I don't know about you, but whenever I travel, you end up buying shit or collecting shit in countries. And you're like, oh, I'm going to buy that because I don't know right. when I'll see it again. Your bag <laughs> just gets so full. Like, do you have okay, to, well, do you send stuff home? What do you do? One thing that's good with me is I'm one of the cheapest people ever. Like, I like to save my money. Like, I'm like super, you know, I really like to make sure that I'm not spending money. I don't know what it is. It's I think it's my grandpa. He just like does not like mm. to spend money. No. And neither do, neither do I. Um, so I don't buy stuff when I'm here. Like really? we'll go shopping. 
will literally go out to all these stores and we'll stay in the stores and look at everything and I will not buy one thing. See, <laughs> so not, not, even, not even like, I mean, I guess when we saw each other in London, I was like, oh, there's a Zara home here. Oh, there's an H&M. They don't have that in America. They don't have that in Australia. I might pick something. you just like, no, nope. <laughs> she's a, Tate McRae, A-grade tight ass. I am not buying anything. I'm saving all my money. Yeah, pretty much. No, hey, I, I, <laughs> hey, I love it. I love it. Um, now you're doing, uh, obviously you're doing the solo shows and you're also doing the spin-off festival in Adelaide, right? We're playing uh, alongside Glass Animals and Jack Harlow. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited to see Jack Harlow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Do, do we, uh, are you all right? Do we need, do we need a fan or something in there? Or we, you... We've been waiting for this day. We have been waiting for the moment that we cross over at mm. festivals or at some point so mm. we can watch him and admire him. Are you, uh, <laughs> are you, uh, do you know what you're going to say? Uh, are you workshopping it? Uh, are you? Are I don't you know if I'm gonna meet him. We, I, there'll be. That's a very low chance that we'll meet him. But if if we do, I, I don't know if I'll say much. No, you just be like hi, and then just walk off. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's yeah, it. Just yeah, one done. word answer. <laughs> done. Um, all right. Uh, before I let you go, because I know you got show tonight. You got show tonight. Uh, you're in Melbourne, right? You're gonna smash it out of the park. Um, you yeah. turned 19 after I saw you last. Uh, so I yeah. have 19 things that I'd like to know about Tate McRae. I'm going to put 60 seconds on the clock and we're just oh going to we're just going to power 60 through. 60 seconds, that's it? 60 okay. se- so no waffling, no chitty chat, just you know, quick and fast. You ready to go? Time starts yes. now. Uh one things you always have in your handbag. Um I always have chapstick. Oh great. Uh what fragrance or perfume does she currently wear? YSL Black Opium. Lovely. Uh what is the weirdest place a fan has said hello to you? Uh like Ooh, um, the toilet. I don't know. The toilet. The toilet. Definitely the toilet. <laughs> Actually, you, yes. Yeah. Okay. If you could only eat one thing for the rest of your life, what cuisine would it be? Um, it would be Italian pasta. Okay. Do you have anyone saved in your like messages, at, like pinned at the top, your most go-to text messages in your phone? Yeah, I have three. Three. Three people saved. Okay, great. Um, one, yeah. No, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Uh, who was your last <laughs> dream about? Not one of those three people, was it? It was. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, last photo you took on the phone because your Instagram game is very strong. Last photo I took was um, a picture of me and Zach uh, playing Sid and Show. Oh, lovely. Uh, and if you could only watch one TV show uh, for the rest of your life, what would it be? Gossip Girl. Oh, no, we're out of time. I, we only got, we got only did 10. <laughs> we got nowhere near the 19. Wow, let me, I was wait, slow. Let me just quickly ask uh, any other thing. Uh, oh, uh, can you cook? was another question I wanted to know. At 19, no, she can't. Not at all. I am the worst chef ever. Okay. Yeah. Don't, don't. You, you know, and you know what? Uh, from where I sit, your pop star trajectory is on such a rise, she's never going to need to learn how. It's, oh, my it's God. Go, it's going to be... <laughs> I t- think I need, I need to learn how to make a, you know, basic good sandwich. I need to... Just the basics. Just, I need to learn. No, yeah, and, and nothing else. Like, no, don't nothing. worry. Don't worry about any like. Just a sandwich. Just so you can feed yourself yeah. middle of the night if is required. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty yeah, much. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> after the Aussie tour wraps up, where do you go? Where? What's happening next? Um, I have a show, a little like radio show in Miami, mm. um, that I'm doing. So I'll be there, and then, uh, I'm honestly going back to LA for three weeks to start start writing again. I haven't been writing in a while. So. Oh my God, wow. And, and have you moved to LA? I think you had, last time we spoke, I think you'd permanently moved to LA, yeah? Yeah, I have an apartment in LA. Nice. So I'm excited. Uh, is it, you're gonna get a, have you had a dog? You're gonna get a dog? No, you travel too much. Um, I, I have a family dog. Yeah. So no one can replace him. No, one, that's <laughs> a great answer. Hey, uh, congrats on the tour. As I said, I saw you on Sunday night. You were fantastic. <laughs> Uh, can't wait to have you back in the studio. Enjoy the rest of the Aussie tour. And don't be a stranger to us here in Australia, all right? Thank you. So good seeing you again. Smallsy Surgery is a Nova podcast. For more great shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.